Guys, welcome back to Poor Boys RC, where the good folks over at Timu have sent a big haul of goodies. We've got a 116 scale 4x4 RC basher truck here, and I've also got a whole bunch of servos, ranging from a six-pack of value brand servos up to a little more of a high-performance 12 kg uh, low profile servo, and then the big daddy, big 40 kg servo in here as well. Let's roll the intro and dive into these. Excellent! Guys, we've worked with Timu in the past. We've always had a good experience with them. And a quick little bit of information from Timu before we get started. Guys, if you take a look down in the description box below, you're going to find a link down there for a $100 coupon bundle. And you can also shop for an extra 90% off a bunch of different items. Use that code to claim your $100 coupon bundle and 90% off some future purchases. This stunt truck right here, the retail price on it's $143.49. And with the coupon code, you can get this for $71. Pretty awesome. And that's Canadian dollars. And the same thing with the servos, guys. The 12 kg servo we're going to look at in a little bit here. Regular is $28.49. You can get that for $2.84. The big boy, the 40 kg, $27.99. You can get that for $2.79. And the six pack of value servos, $49.49 is a regular price. Get that for $4.94. Pretty phenomenal pricing. Again, guys, we've got links down below in the description box for all of these goodies. Check them out. Before we dive into the truck, guys, Let's take a look at some of these servos. I want to start off with this. I got this six pack of these. I'm just going to call them value branded servos. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these. I used to get these on eBay way back in the day. The MG995 high speed servo. These are a great budget servo, guys. As a collector, I'm using this servo in a lot of my cars. And I've had really good luck with these. In fact, even I've got an old Losi LST2 XXL and I waterproofed two of these servos and they've been in there for years and they've taken a lot of abuse. The MG995 has got brass gears, 180 degree throw, and they pump out 13 kgs of torque at 7.2 volts, 12 kgs at 6 volts. But I'll say guys, I've been using these for years and I love them. All of the servos are going to get tested in this video as well, guys. Moving on to the next servo in the list here. This one's 12 kg, comes in an aluminum and plastic case it is a digital servo with 120 degrees of throw it's got a 25 tooth spline on it just like these ones also 25 tooth and as you can see it comes with a variety of servo horns a bunch of plastic ones and a really nice metal one this is a very low profile servo as you can see it's got metal gears it looks like they're most likely stainless but i do not believe this one's waterproof it was not listed as waterproof on the site so i'm going to say it is not waterproof on to the next one guys this is the big daddy a 40 kg servo looks phenomenal again it's got a plastic and aluminum case i don't see any seals any waterproof seals anywhere and it was not listed as waterproof on the website so i'm gonna say it's likely not waterproof again with a 25 tooth spline but this one's also got dual bearings metal gears at 270 degree rotation and 40 kgs of torque at 8.4 volts it also came with a variety pack of servo horns, plastic, and a nice thick metal one as well. And now guys, onto the 116 scale 4x4 stunt truck. These seem to be so popular these days. Everybody's got one of these on the market. Let's see what we get in the box. Looks like we have some instructions here and here. The car itself, guys, check that out. It's got a pretty neat paint job on it. I like what they've done with that. It's pretty neat. Definitely giving me some fire team vibes. <laughs> Two scale drivers inside there. And uh, again, guys, look at that wheelbase. About a 116 scale. Really cool, kind of like that chromatic um, paint scheme. When you look at it on camera there, I see green, but here from this angle, it looks purple. So it, it really has a cool kind of that green purple flip flop thing going on with it. First things first, guys, we got a couple lights in the front bumper. We do have some lights up here on the body as well. And I do like these tethers they have on the body clips. I love that idea. The chassis itself. Have a look, guys. We've got four wheel independent suspension on this guy. The shocks are not oil filled, unfortunately. They look a lot like an oil filled shock and they've got adjustable collars right here, which is kind of neat the way this orange collar slides down and it's threaded on the black shock body. But I did take these apart and I had a look inside. Unfortunately, no, no oil seals. So these are just gonna be a friction shock, which means you're gonna have some bouncy booty on this bad boy. 
This is more of their entry level uh, four wheel drive stunt truck guys. So we're talking about friction shocks, non-adjustable links anywhere, more plastic components, but there are still a lot of really good high-end components. There's ball bearings throughout. We have a steel hexagonal propeller shaft that takes the power from the rear, takes it to the front. The diff gears are plastic, dog bones are plastic, and so are the front universals. We've got a waterproof two-in-one ESC and receiver. Here we can see our brushed motor. It's a 390. It's got a little heat sink on it. It's a five wire servo that we have with a servo saver integrated. It's got this sweet looking little wheelie bar in the back, a spoiler, dual bell crank steering, and it even comes with a battery and it's kind of a unique setup. I like what they've done here. It's a 7.4 volt lithium ion. And you can see in the bottom here, guys, it's got this little Dean's connector with the balance lead and the Dean's connector is right there integrated into the chassis. So this just clips in there beautifully and it's got this integrated arm and it really holds that battery down securely, which is pretty cool. I charged up just an extra little 2S pack that I have here as well with the Deans and guys, you could also use that. That would just sit right on like there and you could pop that in the factory battery location. You might want to use a little bit of foam or something to absorb that space so it doesn't bounce around, but you can use other packs as well. Lots of plastic parts, very lightweight. This thing's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to take it to the skate park later on in this video. On top of that, guys, it did come with a little radio. Let's check that out before we get outside and do some testing with it. Our radio looks like it's got some, almost looks like one of those uh, tactic radios, doesn't it? It's got a little bit of that sort of shape and look to it. But a very basic two-channel radio, guys. We've just got a steering trim and a uh, and a speed knob here, so you can adjust basically your top speed, the total output juice to the motor. So good for beginners, but very, very, very basic. It is 2.4 gigs, no antenna, and in the hand, it does fit rather small. Um, I, I, I've got really, really large hands, and uh, for me, it fits rather small. For the average person and for younger folks, especially people getting into the hobby, this would probably fit your hand wonderfully. Really easy to drive one-handed though. All right, guys, batteries are charged up. Let's go put this thing through its paces, see what it's made out of. First things first, guys, let's do a speed test. We've got the trusty GPS out here, zeroed out. Crank the speed all the way to max. Let's see what she's got in the tank. Just gonna trim her up a little bit. No one's coming. That's our top speed, guys. <laughs> Brakes work. There it is guys, 18 miles an hour. And that is at the highest speed setting that the controller will go up to. So not bad for a beginner basher, hey? Steering's tight, steering servo's fast. Think it's time to put it through some real testing. Go hit the park.
<laughs> this thing is super, super cool. Guys, I've been banging on this thing for a good 20 minutes. And we're in a skate park here. This is like unforgiving terrain. And it's handling these bumps really, really well. I'm not gonna lie, oil-filled shocks would have been nice to have. But these friction shocks, you know, something about it is in a budget-friendly kit like this for $140, $150 Canadian. And it's just, you know, it kind of, it's just funny. It's just funny watching it bounce around and, you know, not having dampened suspension. I don't know, it's kind of enjoyable, not gonna lie to you. I'm having a good time with this thing, it's a lot of fun. Ta-da! That was over 20 minutes of testing and that battery is still going. I didn't even get, I brought a second battery just in case I ran out, but that's it, like, uh, I'm good. It's starting to rain quite a bit now. There's still a bunch of skaters there at the park. But that little truck is a winner in my books, guys. For now, let's go back to the hobby studio and test out those servos. Let's start off with testing the MG995. This is more of the budget related servo, six of them for $49.49 or with the coupon code in the description box down below, you can get six servos for $4.94, which is bananas. These are said to have 180 degrees of throw, metal gears, roughly 12 kgs at six volts, 13 kgs at 7.2. And again, these are the servos that I have used for a long time, kind of my budget solution servo that I've put in a lot of my Tamiya's over the years. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those like really nice servo testing station things, but what I do have is this little <laughs> servo tester right here that works really well. Well, they're great for centering your servos, for testing servos, but they do run off of the 4AA pack or 4.8 volts. While most of these servos are optimized at 6 volts or even higher, 7.2 or 8.4, for the purposes of this video and this testing, we're going to be running off uh, 4.8 volts. And all I really want to check here today, guys, is I want to check the throw and we want to see the speed of these servos as we're throwing them around. So the MG995 here claims to have 180 degrees of throw. Let's check it out. We'll start at one side here. And it looks like it's just coming up shy on 180 degrees, closer to about 150. Now we can also test the speed of it. And while it might not be the fastest or most powerful servo in the world, that's totally suitable. This is perfect for like a, you know, a Tamiya Midnight Pumpkin, Lunchbox, Blackfoots, Monster Beetles, these types of vehicles. That's what I've used these in and I love them. The Metal Gears are tough too. You put a good servo saver on there and I haven't broken teeth on these yet. So let's move on to the next one here, guys. Now we've got this 12 kg servo, which is a low profile servo, as you can see here. This is perfect for those guys that need a budget servo in a low profile format. And what I'm thinking with this servo is that Tamiya is going to be re-releasing the Super Astute again. It's coming out very shortly, I think in December. And I'm pretty sure it requires a, a low profile servo. This would be the perfect solution for that, guys. Right now, these are $28.49 Canadian on Timu. And again, if you're using the coupon code in the description box down below, $2.84. So going over the stats again, guys, an aluminum and plastic case. It is digital 25 tooth horn, 120 degrees of throw, metal gears, 12 kgs of torque at 6 volts and 10 kgs at 4.8. This one even came with this really nice servo horn, a bit of an upgrade from the MG995. This is an all metal servo horn, just like that. So first of all, let's, let's check the range of motion. It claims to have 120 degrees uh, throw range. Let's check that right now. Looks closer to about 100 degrees to me, maybe 110. That's your top speed on it. And again, guys, remember we are running this on 4.8 volts. Again, this is gonna be perfect for that Tamiya Super Astute that's coming out soon. And now the last one that we've got here today, guys, is this one, 40 kgs. These retail at $27.99 Canadian. Again, with coupon code, you're down to $2.79 for one of these. Dual ball bearings, metal gears, 25 tooth spline, 270 degree rotation, aluminum and plastic case. And I don't know if it's waterproof or not. I do not think it is because I don't see seals, but this one is rated at 40 kgs of torque at 8.4 volts. Today, we're gonna test it at 4.8 volts. And this one also came with a metal servo saver or a servo horn, I should say. And it looks to be of good quality. Perfect for crawlers or something like that. Let's check that rotation first. First. This one's closer to about 180 degrees rotation. 
This would be a good servo for like a Claude Buster or something. If you're running uh, this servo and say like a Hobbywing 1080 ESC, you got you got programmable BEC in it. You can jack it up to 8.4 volts, I believe on that one. And you're gonna have a ton of power to turn those big tires. Guys, that's it for me today. I'm gonna be signing off. If you guys need any more information on any of these products, check that description box below. It's got all the info you're gonna need along with a $100 coupon bundle and up to 90% off. Thank you all again so much for watching Poor Boys RC. I'll see you next time. Be excellent to each other. Bye.